What's up guys? Welcome to another episode. Today I want to talk to you about happiness. I hope you can hear me. There's just like so much going on outside. Oh, banging on things and everything. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys about happiness. Hap what is going on? Happiness in terms of as an individual, what makes you happy, what makes you constantly thrive and feel good about the things that you're doing. Uh, the reason why I picked this topic for today was because a lot of people come into my either my DMs, my comment section, and they always mention about how happy I am. Oh, Frank, you're so happy. You look so happy. You become so happy. I felt like I've always been happy. <laughs> I've always been a happy individual. Yes, obviously, along the way, I kind of like lost that happiness slightly. I was still happy, but I was like, I was, I had to find it and I had to keep searching for it. One thing I realized is happiness is not necessarily tied to something. It's not tied to something. It's not tied. Happiness is not tied to something. Happiness is not tied to someone. It's not materialistic. If you try and attach happiness into objects or to a person or to people, like social media, say, I'm getting so many likes, so people must like me, I'm happy. If those likes change or if that person leaves or if that material thing breaks, when that actually happens, you end up losing your happiness. And that is not what happiness is all about. Happiness has to come from within. It has to be something that deals with what you are capable of doing for yourself. For the longest time, I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that happiness is not necessarily tied to a person, tied to an object, tied to social media, tied to all these superficial things. Happiness is something that you can only find from within. You can be the best person in the world. They can be the funniest. They can be the most beautiful. They can be anything that you would ever dream of. Someone would look at you and be like, hey, that person is amazing. But if you can't find that happiness from within you, you will never find the amazing part of this other person. So you can be with the best boyfriend, you can be with the best girlfriend, but you will never be able to experience that fully. And you will never be able to feel that happiness within that person if you are not happy yourself. I had a period of time where I had to find that happiness from within. I had to start enjoying what I do. I had to start enjoying the company that's around me the people that I care about I started enjoying them much more I started looking at social media as just a way to put out information not necessarily a way to make me happy in terms of oh I'm getting likes I'm getting noticed I'm getting all these things no it's just like hey I'm putting out information that can help someone else the more I started doing that I was able to understand myself I was able to learn myself and then from there I was able to now progress with that said there are some tips that obviously I want to share with you guys on, on how the things that I focused on for me to better myself and uh Without further ado, let's touch up on those few things. So, number one, be optimistic. I decided to be, I'm a very optimistic person actually. I think I lost that in the way and I decided to find that optimism. With everything that I looked at, I always had a glass half full type of mentality. I was always like, yeah, uh, maybe this didn't work out but it's an opportunity to do this. Or if I get an opportunity to do something or to work with, with a, a certain company and it doesn't work out, I'm not like, oh, that didn't work out they didn't pick me I started thinking of it as no they approached me so obviously they're seeing something that's that's beneficial to them so that means I'm in the right space I'm doing the right things for someone of this a company of this stature to approach me and be able to say hey we like what you do let's work something out be optimistic in the way you approach life when something doesn't go your way look for the pros in that thing look for the good not necessarily the bad number two focus on what you can control don't ever focus on things that you don't have any control with perfect example social media if social media is I'm talking in terms of my experience social media is something that's part of what I do right uh, it's part of my livelihood so obviously I have to be in the forefront of each and every you know space whether it's Instagram TikTok, YouTube or whatever so it 
comes with his with his cons. Definitely has to come with his cons. Most of the things you can't control. You can't control what people think. You can't control what people say. You can't control majority of people's narrative. So don't focus on that. Focus on the things that you can control. And I can control being a better person. I can control learning from the mistakes I've made. I can control the people, not the people around me, but the things I do to the people around me. I can control the information that I put out there. I try to focus on the things that I can control and I don't really pay attention to the things that I can't control. And that's number one thing which people need to learn. If you're in the workspace, let's say if you work in an office, control the things that you can control. If someone thinks you're being lazy, you can't try and start convincing them, no, I'm not lazy, I'm not lazy, I'm not lazy. No, just work the way you're used to working, but make sure whatever you're doing is productive because that's what you can control. You can control how productive you are and how efficient you are with your work, but you can't control how someone else thinks about how you do your work. Number three, accept yourself. Accept yourself in the way you are, in the way you've been brought up, the way you were born, the imperfections that you have, perfections that you have, pretty much everything about you, accept it. Don't look at others and say, I wish I was like this person. I wish I was like as good looking as this other person. I wish I was as strong as this other person. I wish I was... This dude, the guys, man, I wish I had a fair... If you keep doing that, you're constantly putting yourself down because you're looking at something that's unachievable. I would like to be as rich as Jeff Bezos. Okay, yeah, I can work towards it, but I'm not gonna be exactly like that person. So you might find yourself being better than the other person, but if you're constantly just like looking to reach this other person's goals, you're not going to be able to satisfy your own need. And even if you get to that base, you will always look for someone else who you want to be better, who you want to be like, not better than but you, you want to aspire to be like this person aspire to be the best version of you accept yourself the way you are and work at that number four set goals is this number four or number five one of the two set goals people go into life without having any goals you go to school you study you get your degree you out of school you get get into a job you start working you get a wife you get kids and you work 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 when you hit retirement age you retire and life is over that is not life. That's not what you're here to do. You're here to enjoy life. Do something that you're in love with. For me, I knew from the, I've never worked for anyone. I've never actually worked for anyone. I've never been employed. I started, I did the whole university thing. I, I got my first degree, I got my master's. As soon as I finished that, I decided, what do I want to do with life? Do I want to sit in an office? Yes, I'm getting cash, but I'm working like a slave. Or do I want to chase my passion? For the first three years, three years of my career i was grafting i was training people in in uh, uhuru park i literally didn't have a space a gym space or anywhere that i can train my clients i was just moving from house to house i didn't have a car to move around with literally i was working my ass off waking up early just grafting and grafting and grafting and do you know what i enjoyed every single minute of it why because i was doing something that i enjoyed i was doing something that i was passionate about i was building my dream i was setting my goals i was chasing my goals and now now that i'm seeing everything coming to life i'm like oh okay this was worth it this is what i was working for each and every day i was waking up early going to sleep late so i can be able to be where i am right now and still i haven't reached this the goal that i've set for myself but i'm literally on my way and different goals i hit different goals like right now currently i'm about to actually announce something big i've hit that goal that's a milestone that i've always been chasing but that's not gonna be the end all and be all. I'm gonna now set a different goal and reach that next goal once I've firmed up and concluded on this goal. I'll set another goal and I'll chase another goal. And co I'm constantly setting new goals. This gives you something to look forward to. This gives you that hunger. This gives you that, you know, motivation to do life. Set goals within your, within your workspace, within your career. Whatever it is that you have, set those goals spend money on experiences one of the things that i learned for the longest time experiences hit home different when you have that nostalgia feeling when you when you go to a certain place you're attaching emotion to a certain location a certain country a certain a certain city that is how you make yourself happy have you ever walked into a place and you just feel butterflies in your stomach because you you've been there before like right now i know if i go to splash splash the one next to carnival i'll feel something in my stomach because 
because I used to be there as a kid majority of the time every time I'll come home on holiday <clears throat> I'd go to splash jump on those slides and I'll feel I'll feel like a kid again so that feeling of nostalgia that feeling of enjoyment in the, the butt of the in the bottom of your of your stomach that's what you should be looking for in each and every place don't spend money on materialistic things when you get cash don't just go buy a car or buy this or buy that spend it on experiences experiences can be anything experience can be travel experiences can be learning a new language experiences can be taking up a hobby experiences can be even if it's fixing your house DIYs late last year I started working on my on my bike and that was one of the experiences that just made me enjoy time by myself so these are the things that you need to do find a hobby and just work on it spend money on experiences and lastly this is something that I preach every single day since day one stay healthy your health is your number one priority it has to be your number one priority people don't know the difference between being healthy and not healthy literally I haven't had a cold in almost a year now and if I do get a cold it lasts me like three days I have friends who battle colds for two weeks and I'm like how how does that even work how can you spend two weeks battling a cold and when it hits you you're out like you can't even step outside the house you can that's just like something so small which you can your body should be able to handle and take care of quick so if you can actually handle just little illnesses you're constantly feeling healthy you're constantly feeling fit and agile and you know able to move around that makes a massive difference in in your happiness you can actually find yourself being way more energetic way more happy you're moving around more you're releasing endorphins endorphins are the hormones which pretty much are, are like you feel good hormones so it actually when you release when you work out and you release endorphins you're much more jolly you're much more excited you're much more tolerable to other people you're not just like grumpy and moody and all this thing you are someone who's nice to be around if you are fit you're eating well you're working out you're staying active these are the things which help with your mental state help with your physical state and just your general well-being yes those are some of the things which I just definitely needed to share with you guys just so that you can know that happiness is not something that you have to go look for in someone else or something else happiness is something that you find from within and if you find that happiness from within trust me everything else flows the person that you you're with becomes happier the things that you're able to purchase but you're able to take care of them better you will see you were less disappointed in a lot of things so when things don't work out your way you know how to handle them and it will take a lot 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 more to bring you down rather than just like any small thing disappoints you and with that said I hope this helps someone out there because I know a lot of people are dealing with conflict of you know mental health their general happiness and why am I not so happy why is this person not making me happy I hope you guys enjoy Enjoy this and I will catch you guys on the next one. As always, deuces! <laughs>